No chill, no filter. Team me, bitch! What's poppin', what's poppin', and what is poppin' yet again, y'all? Happy New Year. It's the fourth day of the new year, and <clears throat> I still feel the same. Awesome, right? Yes, sir. Man, No Chill, No Filter TV is on and cracking and is moving right along. I'm going to put it to y'all like this here, man. I appreciate all my new subscribers and all my subscribers from the past. If y'all still rocking with me, it's all love. I appreciate that. This here is your big homie, MC Ron Ski. And as I've said before, this is No Chill, No Filter TV. I'm just here to say, hey, for one, Happy New Year. For two, I got to give y'all a prediction vlog of, you know what I mean, uh, well, one of the the um, first battles of the year. Anyway, one of the first battle events of the year, which is the Poison Battle. Shout out to my man G. Gray, still doing his thing, man. UBL Battle League on and moving also. I'm loving everything that they doing, man. That's my mans, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the UBL Man League. Once again, can I say UBL and Battle League? Because BL stands for Battle You know what? I I'm not going to think too much about that. UBL Battle League, all right? Appreciate you fellas, man. You know what I mean? Every time I come through, it ain't nothing but love, man. From the door all the way to the floor. You feel me? It's all good. So check this out. First off, it's going to be on January 26th. I'm hoping to see everybody there. It's going to be at 907 South 84th Street, which is in West Allis, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, and Maybe this is an old flyer. And, I'm, and speaking of old flyers, I'm really hoping that I'm giving y'all, like, you know what I mean, the, um, the absolute latest uh, uh, flyer here, which is the card. Because, um, you know, every time, you know, we get to the actual event that's the reason why i always do the prediction vlogs like maybe a few days before because the card changes up so much because you know sometimes people can't make it for whatever reason you know what i mean but it is what it is i'm gonna put it to you like this here i'm gonna do the original card that was given to me and um that is as follows in no specific order chris nitty versus king base i really don't know who I like in that battle because they both dope. But I have seen Chris Nitty a couple times and he did get off. I did research King Bass too. King Bass got bars. So in any event, that's going to kind of be a toss up. But, you know, if I had to pick somebody, I really don't know who I would pick. But uh, do I lean towards King Bass or do I lean towards Chris Nitty? I don't know. So I'm going to leave that as a toss up. But I'm liking Chris Nitty, but then, you know, you got King Bass. He, you know, I, I don't know. You know, I'm going to leave it up to y'all. If y'all think y'all, you know what I'm saying, could come up with a better prediction on that, comment below. That's what you're doing. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Logic Divine versus Show Enough Drama. Logic Divine is back in it. Well, you know, he ain't even been out of it, is he? Yeah, body gang, okay. Logic is taking care of his business, you know what I mean? Um, versus Show Enough Drama. I like the Show Enough Drama in that last battle. He been out the ring for a minute, though. So, with that being said, I'm going to have to lean a little bit towards the Logic Divine. You know what I mean? I got Logic Divine taking that. Show sure Enough, you got to go on ahead and, and start getting a little bit more consistent, man, on your battles, fam. Um... Dante Credo versus Class President. Did I say that right? Credo or Credo? Is that Dante? Look, these names, you know what I mean? I'm just, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm OG, man. You know, y'all got to, you know, talk to me about these names. But uh, Dante Credo versus Class President. I'm not familiar with either one of them, so that's a toss up. Zilla versus Shadow. Zilla versus Shadow. Shadow just got ducked, too. Um, like I said, I don't mention ducks, but Shadow just got ducked too. Look, Zilla, show up, fam. Zilla versus Shadow, I think it's gonna be a dope battle. Um, but you know, if I had to go with somebody, man, I would, I would probably have to say Shadow because you know, Shadow is, Shadow is kind of taking care of his business right now, man. Shadow is kind of hot right now. Shadow done been, I want to say he been on the uh, that cartel stage about. Two, three times, something like that already. And not to mention, you know, the host of battles that he done had that, you know, I can say that he done won. 
Um, so, you know, Shadow versus Zilla. Zilla, show up, man. You know what I mean? I just saw that battle too with you versus. Oh man, I can't even think of. I can't even think of the name. I know you battled some youngin' man um, down in Phoenix, not Phoenix, Pittsburgh, Mississippi. I didn't even know it was a Pittsburgh in me, man. But okay. In any event, um, that was a dope ass battle, man. And I, I had you winning that too, also, Zilla. So please show up to this one, man, so I can see you get off, man. I, I need to. I need that in my life right now. Okay. Showstopper versus Hoodlum. Once again, man, y'all got the, <laughs> I don't know, man, you know, y'all got me study pitting the homies against the homies here, man, come on, let's, let's get realistic with this, but Showstopper versus Hoodlum, whew, Showstopper is kind of hot right now, too, but the Hood is also, if Hood come 100% prepared with no type of distractions, I, I think Hood can take that. You know what I mean? Although Showstopper is he at the top of his game right now. I'm definitely liking what the man is doing right now. Young homie is he definitely on his way. Um, but, you know, if Hood come prepared and, and ready to get out, man, and ready to squabble, I got Hood taking that, man. J. Lopez versus... Is that Zy Prem? J. Lopez. I'm just going to leave that at that. Uh, Keith Keys versus BMB Mike G. BMB Mike G, man. I got to go with Mike G. Mike G is on a roll. I'm talking about like his last his last few just really just been that that two on two was over the top. I'm just gonna put it like that there. Mike G was pretty much kind of like, yeah, you know I mean, you know, and, and and you know, coupled with Hood. I mean, what you think happened if you ain't seen that battle? Um, the des it's description below. Check that out. You know what I mean? Check that out. Click that link. Check that battle out if you haven't already. That was a dope-ass battle. Kooji versus Polo Paul. Of course, Kooji. See, that's, that's, see how easy that is? You know what I mean? Kooji. Of course. And, and Kooji, man, congratulations to my man Kooji. Congratulations to a lot of the young homies that's coming up right now, man. J. Lopez, LL Kooji. Oh, man, and this is a homie, you know what I mean, from, from another sector. You know what I mean? My man, True Foe. Yes, sir. Hey, man, check this out. I saw what you did. You you on your way, fam. And you definitely, I like that when, when everybody was chanting your thing, man. I don't know if my friends is fools. All my friends is foes. Everybody on that, fam. They checking for you. That's what's up. That's why I was telling you, man, um, at the last Jack City Battle League event, you know, if you going to do that, if you is going to show love and, and, and do a, 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 a like pop-up battle or something like that, man, make sure you... You still got to rock that thing, man. I understand it's for the love, but, you know, you, you got people looking at you right now, man. You only good as your last battle, and you don't want things like that determining your next step. You feel me? So, but, yeah, man, that last battle, man, congratulations, man. You rocked that big stage. Even had my man Norbs talking about you. And, man, other people, too. I can't even think of the name of the guy right now, man. But, yeah, he said that, you know what I'm saying, you 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 by one of his favorite battle rappers. So keep doing what it is that you're doing. As a matter of fact, to the whole Midwest movement, man, let's let's stay together. Let's Y'all see what's going on, right? Y'all see what's popping. Y'all see that people is checking for the Midwest right now. So it's really on us to keep that going we got to keep it cracking all these little old fake ass bottom feeders man we gonna have to start kind of like ignoring them because for real for real they are not here to help out they are here to hinder so when you see somebody man that's hindering man don't fall into that garbage man you know if you see somebody you know a troll is a troll you know and, and some trolls are fine some trolls know what it is that they doing but you know you got some trolls that that really just scroll for hate for real, that's all they do. They, they, that's all they want you to do is, is get, get knocked off your game. Don't let no chump knock you off your game, man. Keep doing what it is that y'all doing. And honestly, from what I'm seeing, I got y'all making it, man. Y'all, y'all finna go a long, long way, man. I'm just glad that I'm right here at the beginning of the careers, man, so that I can, when I, I mean, I'm going to have content. I'm, I mean, I'm going to have dope content. And it ain't going to be no me being on no clout chase type time. I'm going to be able to actually give proper predictions, proper recaps, you know what I'm saying, and, and proper vlogs when I talk about y'all, man, because, you know, I'm here with y'all. So it is what it is. You know what I mean? So once again, that was my prediction vlog for the Poison Event. Shout out UBA. Battle League That still just Don't Okay you know what We ain't gonna worry about that Shout out my man G Gray man Keep it cracking fam You know what I'm saying I will be there With bells on Um Oh I know I had said His last battle event That I didn't shoot it So I wouldn't be um Editing it I know a lot of people Like hey man dog, How he I thought you said He wasn't editing 
if something happened, you know, G Gray came, hollered at me, you know what I'm talking about, and there's absolutely no way in the world I was going to turn that down, you know what I mean? So, either way it go, y'all already know my work ethic, y'all know how I get down, man. So, if somebody asks me if I can do something for them, if I say, yeah, it's done like that there, that's the reason why people kicks it with me. Once again, Happy New Year, this your big homie MC Ronski. There's no chill, no filter TV, man, and I'm about this bitch. Peace. No chill, no filter. <laughs> Hey, babe, bitch!